Hey guys and welcome to a pretty good money making method that I didn't think would be possible but it's real and it's actually pretty good money per hour for what it requires in terms of gear and effort. Whenever you're ready grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. So I'm sure we all now know about the wave based boss being Zuck and that every single wave will give you some loot leading up to Zuck in case you don't make it and want to claim your loot and leave. There's also a checkpoint system allowing to save your progress but these checkpoint systems can be used to farm a single wave. And that is wave 16 aka the triple jad wave. Now you might be wondering why would I farm the jads if I can finish the entire dungeon and make more GP per hour on average. Well, you're right, but some players cannot kill Zuck or they simply don't have the gear to get past the DPS check. Well, in that case, all you'll need to do is get to wave 16 and make some money while it's still hot. Pun intended, because prices are definitely dropping. On wave 16, what you're going to be doing is using the Northwestern safe spot and killing two of the three Jads. You want to kill two of the three because you want to repeat this wave over and over to make a ton of money. What I did is I grabbed adrenaline every time I was in the PVM up, so I started the fight with 100% to dump some thresholds, and I was able to do a run every minute or so with double surge. This means I was killing about 120 jads per hour. Sadly, these don't seem to count towards your regular jad kill count, but that doesn't really matter. You're doing this method for money. And you'll also be gaining over 870,000 base common experience per hour if you can kill 120 of them each hour. Also, just to be sure, I'm not sure if this is how the drop mechanics work, but wait until the second jad is completely despawned before teleporting out. After killing two jads and teleporting out, so the waves 1 to 16, your chest will look something like this. However, after about 30 minutes of killing jads, my chest looked like this. Now there's a very good reason I didn't take a longer sample size from this method, and that's because, just like every other trash run, it's extremely boring. Like, it's, it bores you out of your mind. If you want to spice it up, you can take on all three jads at once, and if you know how to pray flick, this ain't too bad at all. Although, it is riskier. Work smarter, not harder, guys. Just don't do this. Um, dying is a waste of your time. Just kill them with the safe spot, and you're good to go. So I went ahead and grabbed every single piece of loot from my loot chest, and I made a before and after table in Excel to show you guys the difference in the amount of loot I gained from doing 30 minutes of these jads, and the results are really interesting. As you guys can see, a bunch of items are gained, but some items were also not obtained, meaning I'm going to remove them from the table as we didn't gain any of them. As you can see, we gained some more of pretty much every single important drop, being the Anima Fall, the Salvage, Alchemist Keys, Grimy Herbs, Blood Runes, Hydrix, and Onyx Bolt Tips. And, very important, Salvage. Because a large Blunt or a Calcum Salvage alks for 100,000 GP each. That's a lot of money, and we got 30 of them in 30 minutes. That's 3 million alks. Alright, let's cut to the chase. Let's show you how much money I made in 30 minutes of doing this, not taking into account the time and the loot we gained from getting to wave 16. Well, that's 9.9 .9 million GP per hour, and that's not even including the Elder Trove Tier 3s, because I didn't yet have my ring upgraded at the time. Which means you could get even more money by getting uncut onyxes, fragments of the Pernix Quiver, and so on from those Elder Tier 3 Troves. I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty interesting to see that the Large Blunt or Calcum Salvage is carrying us hard, being about 30.3% of the money we made in those 30 minutes. We then have the Bolt Tips of course, the animal full, which will probably crash over time, and Cernic skills making up the majority of the other money. Before I end of the video, I'd like to say that you can also farm Harakin for the pet if you want to get Shrimpy by simply teleporting out just after he turns completely black, as that's when you'll get your kill count. I'm sure this was intended, but even though I'm going to say if you want the Shrimpy pet, I would go ahead and farm this within the coming weeks because there's a chance that Jagex will nerf or patch this. I'm talking about the Shrimpy pet method specifically. I doubt they would change anything about farming the Jans because it's good money, but it isn't OP or anything. And with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.